We're joined once again by our longtime friend and colleague in the media, Max Pizarro, editor of InsiderNJ.com. Check out their website. Good to see you, Max. Great to see you, Steve. All right, Max, look, we're doing this uh, right before Thanksgiving. Midterm elections just happened. Biggest takeaway for you from that is? Well, I think that there are a few takeaways. I think that nationally, Donald Trump's MAGA candidates did very poorly. The uh, election deniers uh, did not have their uh, great red wave triumph. And I think that's a significant opportunity. Moreover, and this has particular relevance in New Jersey, Steve, Democrats won with the abortion issue. Uh, and when we look at the legislature, which is going into session two more times this year, they are, as we speak, considering a constitutional amendment. This would go on the ballot so that next year, all 120 lawmakers would run with a constitutional ballot question that would enshrine abortion as a right in New Jersey. So those are the two takeaways. Bad for MAGA candidates and Democrats believe that abortion is a winning issue. Well, let's do this. And P.S. Check out our, our media colleagues, Insider, NJ.com, Max and, and Pete and the team down there. They do a great job. Find out what's going on in politics in the state. But, but Max, connect what you just said to back to New Jersey politics. And here's what I mean. Governor uh, Murphy wins a narrow uh, election in 2021. But you also have Republicans, who, and, and Murphy may be thinking about running for president. Who knows? We see what President Biden does. Here's why I'm asking this. Governor Christie has been very critical of President Trump former President Trump. Tom Kane, new congressman. Jack Cittarelli, Republican, likely to run for governor again. Do you think more Republicans in the state of New Jersey are going to be openly critical of former President Trump, given the midterm results? Steve, I do. I, I think that there's a real opportunity there for them to do that. Obviously, they're going to want to pay attention to their base, but they don't want to pay attention too much. They've got to be leaders now. Okay, there's a real. I think you wrote a book about leadership, Steve. Some of these guys ought to read it. Because candidly, there is now a, a real motivation for them to become those leaders they purport to be. To your question about these specific guys, Kane has been quiet. Now he's avoided the media, and, and you know that better than anyone. How you win a congressional seat, and everyone knows who watches us. We tried to get the, the then state former state senator to appear with us. Tom Malinowski, who lost that race, appeared. Kane did not. How the heck do you win a congressional race? You don't debate, you don't do public appearances, but he won. Was it just the district and the way it was redistricted, Matt? Steve, you make friends with Democrats who win the map and give up Tom Malinowski as the sacrificial lamb, which gave the wow. seat to Kane. So there were 17,000 more registered Republicans in that finished district, and Kane just believed he didn't need a campaign. And guess what? He was right. So Kane uh, has said nothing. So we don't know what he's about or where he is. Christie was obviously with Trump at the outset, standing on a stage. Uh, very much a validator and had to, to really navigate an extraordinary drama to get back to this point where he's a critic. Cittarelli was a critic from the beginning, but in the aftermath of the Republican, I know, in the aftermath that you're right, in the, in, particularly in the aftermath of the Republican primary, he tapped yes. back, yes, and, and said some pro-Trump things. So they've been a little bit all over the map, Steve. But where I is think the opportunity is there. I'm sorry for interrupting, Max. Does Not at all. The election matters, midterm elections matter, but it, it, for some, January 6th matters so much. And right before Max, we had Senator Ed Durr, he, Republican down South Jersey, who beat Senate President Steve Sweeney. You can see what he said about January 6th. But here's my question. Do you think January 6th and the role of former President Trump dramatically changes the view of most mainstream Republicans about the former president? I think that is an ought are two different things. And I think that, that politicians are trained to be uh, very cautious by nature and to look for signs. And oftentimes they follow signs uh, that are the most glaring and the most garish, but not necessarily those that are correct. And so I think it, it should be, Steve, it should be for every American in this country who cares about our republic. I'm not sure that it's sunk in quite yet, but God knows it should, particularly after the results of the last election. Max, let me ask you this. There are many, and I don't like when people say there are many, but there are many who do question uh, Governor, excuse me, President Biden's ability to do what needs to be done, not just the rest of this term, but running again. People can judge for themselves whether they think there are cognitive issues or not. Uh, the missteps are go on YouTube. That being said, we all make mistakes, but there's a question of preponderance of them. A, do you believe the president will run for re-election? B, if he does not, do you believe Governor Murphy will be a candidate for the presidency? 
Steve, I, I don't believe that Joe Biden will be a candidate for president. I believe that Phil Murphy has put himself into the national conversation and wants something out of that discussion. He would certainly prefer a president, but depending on the politics, he may settle for vice president or he may uh, get a cabinet position. But certainly uh, winning re-election in New Jersey, he uh, is in a position to uh, negotiate for something. That's what he wants. And dare I ask you, uh, one of the most popular public figures most, based on most polls in the state, uh, Senator Cory Booker ran for president in the past. Do you think he's got another run in him? Well, I think he's going to have to get uh, coordinated with Governor Murphy. Remember, a lot, they share staff members. And I suspect George Helmy was the yes. uh, staff they can't director. Be, they both Booker. can't run, right, Max? They both can't run. I don't think so, Steve. I don't. I, I don't think they can both run out of New Jersey. It's going to have to be one or the other. It may be Murphy's turn, but again, we'll see. We'll see what the lay of the land is. Max Pizarro, uh, again, knows politics in this state, been studying it, writing about it. And Max, plug your book again. Bosses Don't Get Kneecapped. Love the title. That's Max Pizarro, editor, editor of Insider and Jade.com, uh, to you and Pete and the team down. At Thank Insider. You so Thanks, much, Max. Steve. Talk soon, my friend. Privilege, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. it. That's Max. I'm Steve. Uh, Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, the Terrell Fund, supporting Reimagine Child Care, Community Food Bank of New Jersey, Eastern Atlantic States Regional Council of Carpenters, IBEW Local 102, Holy Name, Operating Engineers, Local 825, New Brunswick Development Corporation. TD Bank, and by these public-spirited organizations, individuals, and associations committed to informing New Jersey citizens about the important issues facing the Garden State, and by Employers Association of New Jersey. Promotional support provided by bestofnj.com, and by northjersey.com and Local IQ, part of the USA Today Network. Hello, I'm Dr. Luke Ironman, a family medicine specialist at Holy Name. When was your last visit to your primary care doctor? Throughout the pandemic, many patients have put off their annual physicals and screenings, but preventative health care is critical for early detection of illnesses and to avoid future health problems. Your doctor can also help you develop a wellness plan to achieve your personal health goals. Your health can't wait. Be proactive and talk to your primary care doctor today about scheduling your annual physical.